All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be debugging the reference counters. So if you watched some of my last videos, we implemented the uh, binary tree with reference counters and ref cells to provide us some interior immutability. And what I wanted to do today is actually open up the debugger and see what's actually happening with the pointers for those reference counters. Uh, whenever we call clone, I want to be able to see that strong count uh, be incremented by one. Whenever that gets dropped, I want to see it be decremented. Whenever we call this borrow mute here, right, I want to be able to see that put the uh, ref cell into a borrowed mute state. So here I've got the trees set up here just like I have on the, on the graph on the right. We have this 8, 10, 14, 13. That's going to be our tree 3. Tree 2 is the 3, 6, 4, 7. 3, 6, 7, 4 here. And this uh, first tree is the 1. And so we would expect that when we call tree1.root and we put this into a borrow mute state, that ref mute is what we get returned from that. And this should, and then we're going to assign that to the right to a clone of tree2.root. So that we would expect that this, uh, the root of this tree, this 3, it should have its internal reference counter now set to 2. Okay. And then we do the same thing um, when we get down to this condition. The uh, third tree, 8's left branch, is going to be set to another clone of 3, so that internal strong count should be now be 3. Okay? And then whenever we exit any of these scopes, obviously the 8 branch will no longer be in a borrowed mute state, and the 1 branch will also not be in a borrowed mute state. And then we're just going to do a couple of in-order traversals, and then we'll go ahead and insert that 5 iteratively. And then down here I have a couple of other borrows to demonstrate that you can immutably borrow it uh, multiple times without an issue. So let's just set a few breakpoints here. And then we'll go ahead and just start the debugger. Okay, so I've got Vim Spectre open here. Um, actually going to close out a couple of these panes. I'm not going to use them. Okay, so let's start stepping over this. Uh, so we can see here on the left, we have a ref counter that has a pointer. Strong count is one. So we'd expect that for all of these. Tree three. Okay, so now we're on the tree one dot root. And we're going to call borrow mute on that ref cell. So in, so you can see here it's on a borrow mute. And then we have in here as a ref mute. Okay. So it's got that borrow pointer and it's uh, internal value of one. All right. And then we call, so let's look at tree two, just because we're about to clone it. You see it has a ref count of one. All right. So we call clone. Boom. Now you can see there, it's got a strong count of two. All right, good. That's what we wanted. And then we just exited that other one. It's still in a borrowed mute, so we haven't quite ended that scope yet. So it's going to get dropped. And now that ref mute uh, is gone. So this uh, first tree is no longer in that borrowed mute state, which is good. And then we'll do the same thing for the right branch. All right, borrowed mute state. This still has a strong count of two. Clone it again. What do we have? Oh, strong count of three. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that's what we would expect. And then we go ahead and drop this. Okay, that's no longer in a borrowed mute state. Perfect. All right, so we're going to do a couple of iterations. All right, so you can see here tree1.results is that. 1, uh, 3, 4, 6, 7. So it's iterating over uh, the, you know, its own branch and then in the other branches, which is further by reference. And then tree 2 results, obviously, is 3, 4, 6, 7. The tree 3 results is just going to be 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 13, 14, because it's not part of its uh, traversal that it's even going to navigate to that 1. So that's what we would expect. All right. Um, so let's keep iterating down. And 
And then, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and restart this. Okay. And I just want to insert iterative at this point. Okay, so we're back here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, step into. Okay, step over, we got our vector. All right, so node RC, what is node RC at this point? Right, just a mutable reference to that reference counter. And at this point, that pointer just has that strong count of one. So we expect that when we clone that, now its strong count is two. And then it's also on the queue itself. So we pop that off of the queue. And then occasionally here I have issues with the inspector. Uh, so let's just restart it again. Okay. Okay. Before two. Oh, that, I think that's what's happening is whenever I go to print, and I've already closed this pane, I think it's actually kind of crashing on me. So I'll leave it alone. Um, unfortunately, I only have so much space on this visual because I'm trying to make the font pretty big, so um, I can try and make it bigger for you guys. Okay, uh, that's about as best that I can do. Oh. There, close enough. All right. Um, yeah, so where were we? So we have node 3, node 2.borrow, and then we're going to borrow that. So you can see here that node RC is in a borrowed mutable state, borrow mute, which is what we'd expect. It still has a strong count. So we're going to keep going. All right. So what's in? In is that uh, left branch. So we go down here, we got in, left branch. Okay, it has not been cloned yet, so this should be, okay, right, so that left branch is three. Uh, that's what we expect here because three has itself and its reference count has another one for this one and another one for this one, so its reference count is three. So as soon as we clone it, we would expect that to go to four. Uh, four. Okay, so that'll be in the queue and its ref count is four, perfect. All right, so let's look at where we are here. So we're about to exit this. Um, we're about to drop the first item that we popped from the queue, right? Which was basically node RC. Okay, its strong count is two. So we'd expect at this point, node RC strong count will go down to one. All right, so we just did that. Oh, we're printing it out first. Okay, we're going to the next one, so let's look at node RC, and it is. So strong count is now one. So that's what we expect. Okay, now we're popping off that uh, three branch. Okay, and that three branch, right, should have, so it's borrowed, right, there's the value of three. Okay. So I'm going to go down, down, down. I'm going to clone it. This gets pushed onto the queue. Right. That's that six branch, which has a strong count of two now. So that's going to be the case for each one of these, right? So uh, that six is going to have a reference count of two until it gets processed down to this, uh, the left branch of this one. So we'd be on four. This one will get popped off. And then that reference count will go down back to one 
this one will go up to two once it gets cloned. And then once we say, oh, okay, we want to insert it onto the right node, that one, that reference counts will, should go down to, uh, back to one. So let's keep going here. And then Brow Mute. Now we're on that four. Clone it. And then lastly, we're on here. It happens to be to the right. So we have that mutable node3.write. So we're going to sign it right into it. At which point, yep, so that'll get set. And then our loop will exit. So remember, our node RC was already back down to one because we had pushed its clone into the queue. We had first popped it off, processed it, and then it got dropped. So that's why that reference count went down to one, which is what we'd expect. All right, so we're done with this insertion. And now we can see the results here. Okay. So as we do expect, we've got that five is now in there, right? So we got that one, three, so we have here one, three, four, five, six, seven. We have three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have eight, or sorry, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 13, 14. So that's what we'd expect, okay? And then we'll finish this off by doing a couple of borrows. All right, so we have this borrow root. Okay, this is a borrow. See how it's a ref? If we go up to tree one dot root, you can see it has a borrow of one. And that's what we'd expect. So there's a pointer. Its strong count is still one because we haven't cloned it, but its borrow count is one. Okay, so if we borrow it again, no issues, right? And then we borrow it a third time, still no issues. So its borrow count is three, and it's still just giving you another pointer, right? So it's not a big deal. And then we call value, value, value. All right. So yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully that was kind of helpful. That was definitely helpful for me to kind of see, like, in the debugger, like, okay, here's when the reference counter is increasing. Here's when it goes into a... Uh, borrowed state. Here's when it goes to a borrow mutable state. Um, here's when it, whenever we drop that uh, borrow borrow mute or that ref mute, we can see how it goes back into its uh, non-borrowed state. We can see how whenever we drop a pointer or the reference counter pointer, we can see how it decrements that strong count. Um, we, we haven't covered a weak. Uh, the you can because you can have a weak type in there instead of a strong count, uh, but that'll be for another time. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please go ahead and subscribe, uh, like this video if you can, and yeah, I will see you in the next one.